The first step is to spin the hemp single. To do this, attach the hemp to the leader by holding the fiber at a 90 degree angle to the leader and begin treadling with the flyer moving in the clockwise direction. The twist acts like glue and draws the fibers onto the leader. Move your fiber hand down along the leader for a seamless join. After attaching the fiber to the leader, take a moment to look at the staple length of the fiber. You will want to hold your hands a little closer together than the staple length and use a short forward draw in the worsted style to keep the yarn firm and compact. If you come across the little nub, just stop, pick it out, and begin treadling again. The next step is to ply the hemp single over the cotton core. Tie the hemp and the silk to the leader and begin treadling with the flyer moving in the counterclockwise direction for an S ply. In order to achieve the large loops for this yarn, guide the hemp onto the silk with very little angle, allowing the hemp to laze its way around the silk before pushing it forward and feeding it onto the bobbin. The third and final step to spinning this yarn is applying the binder to secure the loops in place. Tie the first ply of hemp silk yarn to the leader with another strand of silk from the cone. Hold the first plied yarn taut between the orifice and your body. Adjust the loops along the silk core and begin treadling with the flyer moving in a clockwise direction for a Z-ply. After a little twist builds up, apply the silk binder with very little angle to the first plied yarn as not to squish the loops. Allow it to feed on and repeat the process by adjusting the loops and applying the binder.